All right, so in this video, we're checking out the latest and greatest charger from Toolkit RC. This is the M9 multi charger, 600 watts, 20 amps, as you can see here right in the label, 1 to 8S. Quick look around the charger, it only has one channel, so only one battery at a time, but it looks like you can charge that along with some USB uh, as well, USB C, USB A, and it does quick charge and power delivery up to 65 watts, uh, 8 cell. Uh, balancing, of course, up to one amp or a thousand milliamps. You have uh, input and output here for signal testing and measuring. This has a flip up screen and it goes almost 90 degrees, about that far. It's a 2.4 inch IPS display. Um, pretty much looks like the a lot of the other recent Toolkit RC chargers. Got a scroll wheel here, of course, uh, back button. Got a vent port here on the side, fan here on the left side, and nothing on the bottom. And on the back you just have a speaker, a micro USB card, and this card's included. You have your input here, XT60, and this is uh, 7 to 35 volts for your voltage input on the XT60. The micro SD card holds the boot up logo along with um, the voice uh, audio files that uh, basically when you I'll, I'll demonstrate that here in a moment but let me just show you what the uh, boot up screen looks like is they customize it um, for me I think they're gonna have different ones for other reviewers So you see the boot up logo there. You can actually change that. It's like a, a BMP file, I believe. It's called logo.bmp. It's on the micro SD card, so you can change it to whatever you want. And you can hear the uh, audio on the boot up as well as pretty much whenever you use any of the menus. So if we go into the menu here, and then if you select any of the menu items, it reads it off. And um, if you want to use different audio files, you can change. So I think there's a WAV file, so if you want to change it to a different voice, they do have multiple languages as well on there. So if you change the language, the, the voice files will change for those languages. I think there's 10 languages available. Yeah, but uh, quickly, the rest of the stuff that's in the box, of course, you get your USB-A to USB-A cable, um, plugs in there, plugs into your computer for firmware updates. So you can go to the toolkitrc.com uh, website to get the latest firmwares. And uh, basically, you just connect to your PC. This shows up as a USB, uh, like a thumb drive, and then you just copy the uh, bin file, the firmware file, over. And then once it's done copying, uh, the update is completed. And of course, you get a screen protector, just like always. It's in the box. You get a small quick start manual, as always. It's pretty typical of a lot of the Toolkit RC um, chargers. And here's a quick look at all of the parameters here. Some of these things will show up again as I demonstrate the usage of the charger. Okay, so I'll do a uh, quick demo of a uh, battery charge. Battery connected. And like always, you just short press the button here. You can change your parameters so you can change your battery type. And the voice is going to be pretty annoying. These are all the battery types. These appear to be, I think this one here might be new. Yeah, it doesn't read off the battery types. So there's no voice file for these. But I think, um, yeah, lithium LTO, I don't know what that is. It looks new, I'm not sure what that is. All these other ones uh, we've seen before in previous chargers. Okay, it reads it off here, but not when you're in the menu. Leave these cells at auto. auto. Change the charge mode, charge, discharge, and storage charge. charge. Change your end voltage. voltage. Charge current. Uh, this, this is a pretty small battery. Let me take that to eight point eight. And let's hit start. Charge two. Twelve. Charging starts. Hit OK. And you get your charging stats here. 
course it's doing balance charging, it shows your voltage and the amount of current that's being put in there as well as the total milliamp hours being put into the battery. This is exactly the same as uh, all the other toolkit RC charges that have come out recently. So really no difference here. Go ahead and stop that. Battery disconnected. So as mentioned before, you can go ahead and plug in USB-C or USB-A cable here into, into your, like your smartphone or some other USB type device. Uh, if it's a quick charge device like a smartphone, uh, it will charge it up at up to 65 watts. So on the uh, signal input out here, you can measure uh, PWM, PPM, and SBUS signals, and you can also output those as well. To get into that menu, you long press the back button. Measure resistance. Measure signal. Signal output. Measure So those are all of the different menu items here and it's called accessibility. I'm not exactly sure why they keep calling that accessibility, but if you want to uh, measure a signal, you can go over here and then we'll plug in a servo cable here into the input side. Then I have this uh, Toolkit RC multi-checker, it's the MC8. Did a video on this already. Um, basically it does all of the same things like basically in terms of the measuring and outputting voltage but we'll go ahead and show you this. I'm going to output a voltage here or out output a signal here and then we're going to measure that signal over here on the uh, M9. Alright, we're going to measure a PPM signal. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the channel 1 on this PPM signal here outputting from the MC8 and measuring on the M9 using the scroll wheel. And select channel 1 and we'll just adjust that down as you can see here. Alright, try another channel here. Uh, switch channel 5 and we'll adjust that up. And you can see the values changing. So I've demonstrated this before. Uh, this is this function hasn't changed. They just included it into this particular product, and they've even had it in a several uh, of the latest ones. I think the last five uh, chargers and other uh, devices have all had the um, output and measure function. So you can also use this as a power supply, and. Basically what this is, is you can adjust your voltage and your current and it will actually output that here on the XT60. So if you hit start, you'll say power mode. And then this is basically where you can, uh, you, you basically see it as a as a watt meter and see what kind of uh, current draw you get out of here. And you, oh yeah, there's a little light here it turns on. I didn't notice that before when you're charging or powers to this port, it lights up, which is nice. Uh, I mean, that's actually something new I haven't seen before in some of the other chargers. So at least you know if it's active or not. You can see here it's got five volts and it's at zero amps because there's nothing pulling any current on it right now. But um, if there was something pulling current on here, you would be able to measure the, with a wattage or the, uh, basically use this as a watt meter to measure the current draw on this particular port here. Anyway, overall a pretty nice charger. In the M9, they've kind of combined a lot of the features and functions from their previous products and they're kind of putting them all into one here now although it is only now single channel i suspect later on they'll come up with an m9d uh, it'll be you know probably something like the 600 watts or something like that but two uh, dual channel instead and maybe they'll move the uh, usb-c to the back or something like that it'll, it'll be a similar size but dual channels is what i'm suspecting this is my guess um based on their pattern of um products that they've released in the past. I do like the flip up screen so you can have this on the table. You know sometimes if it's um, at wrong, you know kind of at a weird angle you can't really see the screen but you can just have it kind of flipped up and have it at an angle that is nice to look at. And of course the interface and everything all works as the same before. So if you're familiar with the Toolkit RC products from before this is going to be right up your alley. Um, anyway that's going to do for this video. If you have any questions let me know. Talk to you guys in the next one.